Hey everybody, Raven here. Today I'm really excited to share with you a metal, a precious metal that I had never heard of before, and it is called Rhenium. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this little bar right here is one gram of Rhenium. It is one of the rarest elements on Earth. It's Rhenium 75. It's a byproduct of copper mining. And like I said, it's one of the rarest elements in the Earth's crust. It was discovered by Masataka Ogawa in 1908, but he had mislabeled it. And then it was rediscovered in 1925 by Walter Nodick, Ida Tack, and Otto Berg. It's named after the Rhine River in Europe. And its primary uses are with nickel to produce a super alloy for turbine blades and exhaust nozzles of jet engines. Those being the primary uses, this little piece of metal right here is very impressive. Um, it's also used as a catalyst for hydrogenation and catalytic reforming of NAFA for the use of gasoline. And they call it rhinoforming is the process what they call it. It has one of the highest melting points of all elements only surpassed by tungsten, ladies and gentlemen, which that's pretty darn impressive. To give you an idea, rhenium melts at 5,767 degrees Fahrenheit or 3,186 degrees Celsius. Now, Chile has the largest re uh, reserves of rhenium and is the largest producer of rhenium in the world with 49% of the um, metal being produced out of uh, Chile and there's only a total world production of about 40 to 50 tons per year um, The main producers are Chile United States Peru and Poland It's a really impressive little metal ladies and gentlemen the things that they use this for is just unbelievable It also has medical um, Uses usages for uh, cancer for liver cancer and skin cancer and whatnot. Um, it's pretty crazy because not a lot's known about this metal. It's also used for uh, space applications and stuff for the engines. Uh, because of its high melting point, it can withstand things that a lot of other metals can't. And also it is used as a super alloy, uh, usually, again, mixed with nickel to do the turbine blades and the jet engine nozzles. Matter of fact, the jet engine industry is its highest usage. Now, at its most expensive point, the, this got to be over $10,000 per kilo. Right now, it is currently at about $2,335 per kilogram. Uh, a troy ounce runs between $250 and $350, depending on where you find it. Um, you can find what's called irregular uh, rhenium, which is... A little bit less expensive or you can find uh, stuff like this right here where these run for about 40 to 50 dollars per gram ladies and gentlemen uh, that is pretty pretty pricey little metal but it's also one that is kind of hard to, to produce I had that upside down uh, very very cool little little thing and it's amazing how rare this is and it might be something that you know catches on with uh, precious metals in a, in, a, in a smaller capacity because honestly it's really hard to get your, your hands on it. Uh, but I wanted to bring this to you guys' attention because I think it's pretty darn cool and who knows what this will produce in the future. Um, I really think it's pretty interesting that it, it, it's part of use for uh, super alloys. You know, like it said in... Uh, my research that it's only surpassed by tungsten in its melting point. Um, actually, when it's processed right, this is very stable in using it for coils and uh, rolling it out and whatnot. So because of being able to do that, it has a really good conductivity and whatnot. That's why it's used in so many different uh, platforms as far as a super alloy. If you like this video, make sure to leave us a thumbs up. If you want to correspond 
It's RavenHawkCoins at gmail.com. Our PO Box is 721-296, Norman, Oklahoma, 73070. Like always, please make sure to take care of one another, and we'll see you real soon. Raven Hawk Coins, have a great day.